Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To change the settings used by Outlook for PDF conversion and also set up automatic conversion and archiving of messages within Outlook 2016 through 2010, click the Change Conversion Settings button in the Preferences button group on the Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon to open the Acrobat PDF Maker dialog box. This dialog box contains three tabs, Settings, Security, and Automatic Archival. Note that clicking the Set Up Automatic Archival button in the Archive button group on the Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon opens this same dialog box but displays the Automatic Archival tab first. In this lesson, we will examine changing the settings and automatic archival preferences within this dialog box. On the Settings tab in the PDF Maker Settings section, you can use the Compatibility dropdown to select the PDF version to use for PDF creation. Using the most recent version is recommended to ensure access to the most recent features and functions in Acrobat. The Attachments dropdown lets you choose how Acrobat will convert attachments to messages. You can select the default value of Include All Attachments in the Adobe PDF to include all message attachments in the PDF files. You can select Do Not Include Attachments in the Adobe PDF to not convert attachments in the resultant PDF if needed. You can check or uncheck the checkboxes shown to enable or disable the associated settings. The View Adobe PDF checkbox setting will open Acrobat to show the file after converting PDFs if enabled. The Output Adobe PDF Portfolio when creating a new PDF file setting ensures that new PDFs are created as PDF portfolios versus being pages in the standard PDF files. The Do Not Include Folder Name Information checkbox excludes the name of the Outlook folder that contains the mail message from inclusion within the PDF file. The Embed Index for Faster Search setting embeds an index of characters and text used to more quickly search for content within a PDF portfolio. The Block Download of External Content setting ensures that external content like images, CSS, and JavaScripts are blocked. The Enable Accessibility and Reflow with tagged Adobe PDF setting enables accessibility in the PDF. In the Page Layout section, you can set the page layout of PDF pages created by the conversion. You can use the Page Size dropdown to select a standard page size to use. You can also manually specify the width and height in inches by typing numbers into those two fields. You can also choose Portrait or Landscape Page Orientation by choosing the Desired Option button for the orientation. You can set margins for the page by typing number values measured in inches into the top, bottom, left, and right fields under the margins label. In the other section, enter the number of recently created PDF portfolio archives to show in the drop-down menus that appear when you click the Selected Messages and Selected Folders buttons in the Adobe PDF tab in the ribbon. You can click the Security tab to choose the default security level applied to newly created PDFs in Outlook. Security settings are discussed in the chapter titled Document Protection and Security in the Advanced Acrobat Manual if you would like to view that information. You can click the Automatic Archival tab to enable automatic archiving of selected Outlook folders on a regular basis. To do this, check the Enable Automatic Archival checkbox in the Automatic Archival Settings section. Select the frequency with which to archive messages by choosing a Frequency Option button. The choices are daily, weekly, or monthly. If you select weekly, use the adjacent drop-down to choose the desired day of the week. If you choose monthly, select the desired day of the month to perform archiving from the adjacent drop-down. You can then specify the time of day to perform archiving by entering it into the Run At field. To maintain a log of the automatic archiving, check the Maintain Log of Archival checkbox. To create the archive log file and choose where it will be saved, click the Choose File button. In the Save Log File As dialog box, select a save location and type a name for the log file into the file name field. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to set the log file. To embed an index into the archive for faster searching, check the Embed Index for Faster Search checkbox. To then select the folders to automatically archive, click the Add button in the Choose Folders for Automatic Archival section. In the Convert Folders to PDF dialog box, you can select the folders to automatically archive. 
You can check the Convert This Folder and All Subfolders checkbox to also convert all subfolders of the selected folder. Then click the OK button to open the Save PDF Archive File As dialog box where you can navigate to and then select an existing archive file to use or simply select the location and type a name for the new archive file into the File Name field. When finished, click the Open button to add the checked folders to the Choose Folders for Automatic Archival section. You can then repeat this process to add other selected folders to this list. To delete a folder that has been added to this list, select the folder in the list and then click the Delete button to remove it from being automatically archived. You will need to click the Yes button in the confirmation message box to finish removing it. To change the PDF Portfolio Archive file to which a folder is being archived, select the folder to change, and then click the Change Archive File button to open the Save PDF Archive File As dialog box where you can navigate to and then select a different archive file to use, or simply select a location and type a name for the new file into the File Name field. When finished, click the Open button to switch the archive for the selected folder. When you are finished changing the PDF conversion settings and setting up automatic archival of folders, click the OK button within the Acrobat PDF Maker dialog box to apply the new settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.